Hi, Tartan families. My name is Mr. Brummett, and I'm the new principal at Glendora High School. Although this school year is going to look a little bit different, we're doing our best to make it the best school year ever. We know there's been a ton of information that's been shared with you lately, and we thought the best way to condense it into one place was to create a distance learning resource guide for our students and for our families. Our leadership team will be sharing lots of information during this presentation. To simplify it for you, we're also going to be sharing the slide deck so you could reference these slides on your own later on. We're going to cover many topics. We're going to cover our school schedule. We're going to cover office hours. We're going to cover wellness Wednesdays, expectations for our students, supports that will be in place for our students, safety, and all the resources that you need to get through distance learning. Like I said before, this school year is going to look a little bit different. We know that there is anxiety and that there's fear, and this is new for all of us, and that's completely normal to feel that way. What I do want you to know is that we are asking that we show each other grace. We're all in this together. We know that this is a new time and it's a very weird time. And we're asking that we partner together to make this the best possible school year. One thing that I wanna share is that our theme for this school year is Glendora Grit. To me, grit means courage and resolve, uh, strength of character. And when I think about our students, when I think about our staff and I think about our community, I think about courage and resolve, and I think about strength of character. And it's those qualities that will help get us through this incredibly difficult time. Our goal is to make distance learning as seamless as possible for our families. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, and there'll be some hiccups along the way, and that's completely fine. We know that if we do this together as Tartans, we can make this a great school year. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic to our assistant principal, Mrs. Jamie Norell. Thank you, Mr. Bremmett. And welcome back, Tartans. We're so excited to have you back with us virtually for now and hopefully in person soon. So we wanna start with what our schedule will look like here on distance learning. As you see on this slide, we're going to be having 75 minute periods remaining in our block scheduling. Teachers are going to have a chance to see you every day, either through course time or through office hours, which we'll get to explaining in just a minute. We also have five minute breaks built in between periods, as well as an hour lunch for you to take some time off screen. During live instruction, live instruction will actually happen each and every period. This is what we will call synchronous learning, and your teachers will be online with you at that time. They will have a minimum of 30 minutes and a maximum of 50 minutes in each period with you live. They will greet you at the beginning of the period and take attendance and move on from there. In order to access your live meetings with your teachers, you will first wanna log on to the GUSD portal and then select Canvas. Instructions have been emailed out to you and you can follow those for, for further um, detailed instructions. If you are unable to reach your teacher through your Canvas portal, you can also access their meeting links through ARIES, and that will be under our column um, labeled meetings. If you are still struggling to find on the first day where to be at what any given time, the district has also set up a student and parent helpline, and the number is listed in this resource catalog. In addition to our instruction, oh, I'm sorry, we have here our odd even schedule. We are gonna continue to follow the odd and even break with also having our wellness Wednesdays in the middle. So here's a calendar to help you navigate which courses we'll be meeting on which day. The next slide goes into office hours. Tartans, this is gonna be very similar for those of you that are returning to our Tartan tutorial, which used to happen at the beginning of the day. Now office hours will be happening after lunch from 1.25 to 2.25. Your teachers will provide you more information as to how this will look for each individual class, but this will be time that they will provide support, whether it be in whole group or small group, they will hold individual meetings, give you a chance to drop in and ask for clarification or ask for further support. So we encourage you to make sure you build that time into your day to meet with your teachers and to make sure everything is set for your learning. 
Thank you, Mrs. Norell. Uh, next up to talk about Wellness Wednesdays, we're gonna have our lead counselor, Mrs. Ashley, share some information about Wellness Wednesdays with you. Hi, and welcome back counselors. I'm sorry, welcome back Tartans. Um, Wellness Wednesdays, I know you guys have all seen on the calendar and there's been lots of questions. Wellness Wednesdays came about because we had a lot of concerns expressed by parents, students, and the community about the emotional needs of our students um, outside of just the academic ones. So the mental health team through Glendora Unified School District has been working really hard all summer um, to come up with a plan to address those needs um, for our students. So on Wednesdays, we will be pushing out a series of activities, lessons, um, interactive experiences, which are designed to give our students a release, um, help alleviate some of the anxiety, a little bit of the stress, um, and also hopefully teach some coping skills that will help us as we continue to navigate through our new um, current experience. Um, we also offer something called the Glendora Healthy Minds Club, and that is something that we would encourage our students to participate in as well. We'll be pushing out information about that through social media and emails in addition to the information about Wellness Wednesdays. Also on Wellness Wednesdays, we will have other experiences for students, um, activities, uh, club meetings. Those will occur on that day as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ashley. We are going to now move on to our expectations where we're going to get here from uh, Mr. Llewellyn, our athletic director and dean, um, as well as Mr. Tilton, I believe, and myself will be contributing to these uh, slides as well. Hi, Tartans, and welcome to the start of a very unique school year. Uh, here's our attendance and classroom expectations. Uh, our, although we are at distance learning, school is in session, and so we do want you to be in class uh, every single day, every, every period, and we would like you to be on time. Uh, if you're having technical issues trying to log into the start of a class, please reach out to your teacher just so they know that you're there and you're, you're trying to log in and, and, and we'll kind of work through these issues a, as we move on. When a student is absent for a day or, or a period even, um, we will need a parent's uh, as they always have to notify the attendance office and you could do that through calling the school or even on our uh, website there's a place for reporting an absence uh, as far as classroom expectations as go uh, all of our traditional classroom ex expectations still apply um, please, please be considerate and respectful of your teachers and classmates because uh, everyone does have a, a right to learn and everybody wants to have a positive classroom experience thank you Hello Tartans and welcome back. Uh, here at Glendora High School, we use um, a progressive discipline policy. Uh, any violations of classroom expectations may lead to the following consequences. It could be a verbal warning, could be a student conference, a parent conference, a student reflection assignment given to the students by their grade level administrator, class suspension, suspension from school, or a possible exp uh, expulsion recommendation, depending on the severity of the violation. Thank you, Mr. Llewellyn. Um, also to add to that, we're treating our virtual classroom sessions much like we do um, our traditional classroom sessions here on campus um, during a normal school year in the sense that um, parents, parents were going to be asking to respect the privacy of the classroom environment. Um, the classroom is intended for the teacher and the students. So we're asking that parents give the space for their students to learn. If they have any questions about a given class, we ask that they schedule a time with the teacher um, to ask questions about that and that they give their students space and the students in the class the space and privacy they deserve um, while learning in this virtual environment. Next up to talk about student support, we are going to have Mr. Bondurant talk about special education 504 and our ELL students. Hello Tartans and welcome to the new school year. Um, as always, student support is gonna be key. We're always looking for different ways to provide the necessary support for all of our students. In addition to the normal supports that we have, we also have additional supports through IEPs and 504 plans. 
These plans are developed and maintained to provide the support and services necessary for students to access and be successful. Um, additional supports are also available for our EL learners. Um, for these students, supplementary, supplementary support such as aid support and additional technology are available in order to develop proficiency in English and also to help them meet and access uh, the content and performance standards. To talk further about uh, student support, we're going to bring back Mrs. Ashley, our lead counselor, to share some information. So I'm really excited to share some of these resources. There's a lot of hours of work that went into it this summer. Um, we have two websites that are available to students and parents. Um, the Glendora Healthy Minds website is geared more towards parent, but have has a um, an incredible amount of resources in terms of um, providing support for your student, providing support for yourself, um, accessing information about some of the things, the emotional issues that may be going on, um, how to get support for you and your family. The uh, GUSD High School Counseling website is more geared towards students. And so it'll again, it'll discuss the mental health needs of your students, um, give them information and help them find some coping skills and ways to cope during this time. Uh, we also have academic information on that page as well. One of the things that we are frequently asked by our families is referrals for counseling. Um, and that can be a difficult process. Um, so one of the things that we put in place is we have a contract with a company called Care Solace. And what they do is they will basically help match you up with a counselor. Um, there's a couple of ways to navigate. You can go on the website or you can call them, um, but they will ask informations about, information about insurance type, um, what type of counseling you're looking at, and they will essentially help match you up with, with somebody that would be a good fit. So this is a great resource um, for all of our parents. And then on this page, um, this is gonna be the contact information for us for this year. Right now, it is difficult for us to have access to our phones. So the best way to reach your counselor is gonna be via either our email or our counselor remind accounts. And if you haven't signed up for our counseling remind account, I would encourage you to do that. We push out a lot of information um, about events going on at the school, uh, college planning activities, career planning activities. And we also have the feature built in where if you want to directly message us, so if you have a question about schedule, college, career, um, you can go ahead and send us a message through Remind and it comes up on our phone and we can answer it immediately so you don't have to wait. So please take note of our, our emails, definitely sign up for the appropriate Remind, make sure you pick your counselor and your grade level, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Mrs. Ashley. Uh, next up, to give some tips for distance learning, we're going to have our activities director, Mrs. Gonzalez, share some fun facts and tips for you to get through distance learning. Mrs. Gonzalez, I think you're on mute, if you can unmute for us. Thank you. Um, as Mr. Brevett said, my name is Mrs. Gonzalez. I'm the activities director here at Glendora High School, but I'm also a parent. So these tips are coming your way as both from the perspective of a teacher as well as that of a parent. So one of the most important things that you need to do for your kids is to create a designated learning area for them that is clutter free, that is quiet, and gives them an actual feel of going to school um, somewhere separate from where they like to hang out. So create that quiet learning area for them. The next thing is you wanna create a daily routine, a routine. Just as with school, students need the routine to help them get into the mode of learning. And part of this routine, we highly encourage that they do physical activity as well. Physical activity will help them with their mental health um, just by getting outside and doing some things. And we need them mentally healthy right now to conquer this distance learning um, battle. Uh, next, have them take breaks. Please encourage them to take breaks from all of their electronics. Their minds need to shut down. Their eyes need to get away from the screens. Give them a chance to go out, breathe fresh air, get some sunshine, do something else besides spend the entire day on their electronics. The next thing, parents and students should always check their emails daily. Teachers are constantly pushing information out. 
So it's important that you as a parent also look for any updates that come out or any other information that the teacher is trying to get to you or your students. Um, it's very difficult to contact teachers via phone messages right now. So as others have mentioned, very important that you contact them through email and that will be the best way for them to get back to you. So again, please check your emails daily and have your students check them as well. Now, as you guys know, with school, a big part of that is the social life that kids have, being around their friends, being around other kids. And unfortunately, with distance learning, they don't have that opportunity to have that. So it's very important that you encourage your kids to FaceTime, um, Zoom with friends, talk with them on the phone, whatever it takes to get them to feel connected, not only with their friends, but with the high school. So again, encourage them to reach out, talk to friends um, to get that, that bonding back. Also, as high school students, we know they're not very enthusiastic about talking to you as a parent, and you'll get a lot of one word answers, maybe two. But we really encourage you to talk to your students right now about their day, find out how their classes are going, what struggles they're having, what are they enjoying. Check in with them, and they may say, I'm fine, mom, you got it, dad, but dig deep just to see how they're doing. That's an important step. And then the next one is we want to have the students be proactive. This learning process is a village approach. It takes not only the teachers, the staff, but also the parents and the students themselves. So they must be proactive. So encourage them to raise their hand, ask questions. If they're confused or need help, have them reach out to their teachers. They can email, they can attend um, the office hours in the afternoon, but just encourage them to be very proactive and take responsibility for their education as well. Hopefully these tips are helpful and we just encourage you as parents to stay strong and supportive and let's get these kids through this time. So we're all Tartans for life. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gonzalez. That was great. Next up to talk about safety is our assistant principal, Mr. Tillon. All of our facilities are, are currently closed at this time for the safety of everyone in our community, uh, which includes our, our sports field until further notice. If campus does open up and when campus does open up, uh, protocols and procedures will be communicated at that time. So thank you for your understanding. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Tilton. Next up to talk about some of the resources that are available to you is me, Mr. Bondurant. Okay, now obviously distance learning is brand new for all of us, and we just wanna talk over some of the resources that are out there for you guys. One of the big things that we have that started um, today, August 20th, is the uh, Student Parent Helpline. If you're having any technical issues, you can call um, Monday through Friday, eight to seven, or Saturdays from 10 to one, and get uh, live technical help. Um, this service will be provided up until September 3rd, so, you know, please call in if you're struggling with anything and they'll be able to help you with live support. We also have uh, created a um, video that goes over the basics, how to access the Glendora Unified School District portal. It goes uh, step by step process, not only to get to the portal, um, but also once you get to the portal, it, it shows you where that Canvas um, app is going to be located and how you can click on that. And uh, the video is right here on this page. So uh, later you guys can click on that. Um, to access that, access that video. Also on uh, the bottom part of that slide is, um, it's a direct link to the Canvas, the official Canvas website where they've created a, a Canvas guide to help students with all the typical frequently asked questions um, and any other supports that you guys need, that'll be there as well. And then um, finally on this uh, last slide here, we have uh, the GUSD portal. It gives, uh, once again, a lot of the basic information on how to get into the portal and into Canvas, but it also uh, gives the information on how a username is created. So if you're unclear about what your username is, um, if you look under the student accounts summary part on this slide, it shows you exactly what it is. It's gonna be the first initial, the initial of your first name with your last name, and then the last four digits of your ID number. And then also it goes through the details of how to, um, what your initial default password is to access the portal. Um, if you registered within the district uh, before December 11th, 2019, it's gonna be a six digit um, number based off of your uh, birthday. So two digits for your month, two digits for your, uh, sorry, 
two digits for your month, two digits for the day, and then two digits for the year. If you've registered after December 11, 2019, it gets a little bit different, um, but it's based off of your, um, your birthday, then the capitalized first initial, and then the lowercase last initial. And if you guys need a little bit more clarification on that, that is there for you guys to look at as well. Thank you, Mr. Bondurant. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you. I know this is a new and unprecedented time for everybody. This is gonna have a lot of information to sort through. So we're gonna make it available to you um, as a slide deck so that you could reference it, but we're also gonna publish it as a YouTube video. Uh, any important updates that may be coming your way, we're gonna continue to send weekly on Fridays through Tartan Talk, which is our parent newsletter. So be on the lookout for those Tartan Talks when we present information weekly um, that will be helpful to you and your family. Continue to monitor your child's progress. Uh, stay in touch with your teachers. Uh, check Aries and Parent Portal to make sure your students uh, making progress in their classes. But I think what's most important to remember right now is that this is all new for everybody. And it's not gonna be perfect right away. It's gonna take some time to get used to and to get this thing going. It might take a few weeks and that's okay. Um, there's gonna be situations where Wi-Fi goes down for a teacher or for a student and we'll work through that. We're gonna make sure our students and our teachers have what they need for our students to uh, be successful here at Glendora High School. And to do that, we're gonna show each other grace. Um, we talked about that in our staff meeting yesterday. As a team here, um, we're gonna show our staff members grace to each other as a team and then to our students and families as well. And we ask for that back. We are a team and we're partners and we're asking that we do this together. And that's what makes us, all of us combined, all of the stakeholders, the Tartan family. So we're gonna give people time, we're gonna give people grace and we're gonna give people support. And we're gonna do this together. Um, and we're gonna show each other gratitude. During this time, um, it's so important, I believe, uh, our leadership team says thank you a million times a day to everybody because everybody's working super hard to make sure that our kids are getting what they need and we're saying thank you to our parents because they're our partners and they're making sure their students are getting what they need as well. So again, thank you so much. Um, like I said before, this is a team effort, taking the students and teachers and support staff and administrators, um, you know, all of us together, the parents make a community. And in this community, um, you know, what makes us special is that we're the Tartan family and bringing all these things together, you know, you got Glendora Grit, which is again, that courage and resolve and that strength of character that's gonna get us through a, a difficult time. Again, this isn't gonna be easy, it's new. Um, there's challenges that are gonna happen and that's okay. We will get through them and we will work together to make sure our kids are getting what they need to be successful. I wanna say thank you uh, to the Glendora community. I wanna say thank you to our leadership team for their hard work on this presentation. Again, we will be putting this out as a video link so you could watch it. And we will also be putting it out as a slide deck that will have um, video narration of um, the audio from this presentation as well. And again, thank you so much for your support and for your efforts. We're so excited for the start of the school year. We are hard at work making sure that our students get the best experience possible. With that said, hashtag Glendora Grit, hashtag Tartan for Life. We are so proud to serve you. Thank you, Glendora.